118 contestants are looking for a place in the top 30. These 30 spots are determined by the fast track events, the pre-judging choices, and the head-to-head -head challenge winners. So let's see who qualified. The first 10 places went to the winners of the head-to-head -head challenge, which had over 2 billion views and 20 million votes worldwide. Let's take a look. This year, we revised the format and added a second round, making it that much more exciting and intense. <laughs> Miss England talked about how her best friend committed suicide and whose anniversary date will actually be on the Miss World finale. If I could have lunch with anyone dead alive, it would be Sarah, who sadly committed suicide almost five years ago. Um, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye. It's the fifth year on 8th of December, the night of the final. So this is all dedicated. Sorry. Miss Lebanon talked about being an orphan and how she is now helping young orphans in the place that she grew up in. As a child, I always cry and uh, think my parents hated me uh, to be able to, uh, to, uh, to ditch me, SOS taught me um, gratitude and uh, forgiveness and self-confidence. And most importantly, being compassionate towards left and abused children. We also had some very shocking moments, like finding out United States was struck by lightning as a child. My hair was wet. I was on my computer and the phone all at once. And the way the doctors described it to me, they said that lightning comes down kind of like a hand. So they said I got the pinky of it. And then the next day, my computer teacher uh, brought me into class because my mom made me go to school. She used me as an example of why you shouldn't be on your computers during a thunderstorm. But I don't think I'll ever forget the story of Miss Netherlands' hamster. When I was younger, I had a hamster and he passed away. So I made a little box for him to give him a funeral. But it was late and my parents said, do it tomorrow. So the next morning, he was sitting in the corner like, hi, <laughs> and he was not dead, so. One of my favorite answers came from Thailand. One asked, what does beauty with a purpose mean to you? And her answer personified the subject as a woman. To me, beauty with a purpose is spreading happiness. And she's able to put herself in other people's shoes, no matter what class they're in, no matter where they're from, what race, color, or age. And anyone who is as passionate as me knows that they were put on this world for a purpose. It was truly an excellent experience because it showcased all of our contestants as more than just beautiful women but rather as women of substance. In the second round, our 20 winners from round one faced off against each other as advocates for their beauty with a purpose causes. They were judged by three former Miss Worlds who chose just 10 to advance directly to the Miss World final 30. And the winners are Chile, Bangladesh, India, Malaysia, Mauritius, Mexico, Singapore, Thailand, Venezuela, Uganda. Your head-to-head -head challenge winners, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the head-to-head -head challenge has truly transformed the Miss World competition. Great work, ladies. The next qualifiers came from our four fast track events, sports, fashion, multimedia, and talent. Let's see what happened. Miss World fast tracks are a series of challenges that would guarantee their winners a place in the top 30. The sports challenge events brought out the best athletes from each team. There's so much on the line right now, and that's what's pushing me through. With Bolivia from the red team winning the long jump challenge. Watch out, red team, we're coming for you. Netherlands from the yellows winning the 60-yard dash. And the swimming challenge was won by New Zealand from the blue team. Overall, in third place was the Netherlands. In second place, Bolivia and in first place, United States. That's what I came here for, I'm so happy. <laughs> Go. Our annual fashion show is a chance for Miss World contestants to showcase the work of some of the very best designers. The judges couldn't pick between South Africa and China, who are both proud to win the World Designer Award. I'm really proud of my designer, Li Jingyun. It's incredible. I did not expect it because my approach was really to just be myself. Next up is the Top Model Award. The contestants do an incredible job of showcasing a stunning display of haute couture, but there can only be one winner. France! Go. I'm so 
happy. It's amazing. I can't believe it. In the multimedia fast track, the contestants are judged on their ability to engage and interact with their fans on social media. I share a lot of photo, video about my journey and with the girls. And also, this year, their skill in promoting Sanya to the world. There's so many beautiful photo opportunities here in Sanya. I like to post most my selfies. Um, I feel like my followers like that the most because it's more personal. People prefer to see videos because we move and we talk and we share more. A tough choice, but the winner was Nepal. Say hi, say hi to the world. Every year, our Talent Fast Track is a very popular competition. And this year's contestants bring a wide range of talents to our grand final in Heiko. Everything from street dance to opera. Third place was Canada, in second place came China, and the winner, Japan. There they are, your four qualifiers, United States, France, Nepal, and Japan. Now Japan, you stunned our judges so much, you'll be singing in just a few minutes. Beauty with a Purpose is the heart and soul of Miss World. It is the center of all the work undertaken by the Miss World organization. The contestants constantly surprise us with their achievements in bringing health, hope, and happiness to the disadvantaged communities around the world. Let's take a look at some of their work. What's the connection between poverty, TB, child abuse, water shortages, online bullying, racism, and tonight's Miss World competition. In fact, these important issues, and many more besides, are being tackled as a direct result of Miss World's Beauty with a Purpose program. Since Beauty with a Purpose started in 1971, and by working with other charitable organizations, it has raised hundreds of millions of dollars for good causes around the globe Nearly half a century later, beauty with a purpose continues to evolve. We are now tackling subjects that might have been considered taboo, especially in a contestant's own country. But the ongoing empowerment of women means that no subject is off limits, and neither is the help we are able to give. Poverty is an issue that still inspires us worldwide. They skipped all meals, they were struggling for every penny, and the most shocking thing was that we were the ones trying to help, and they were scared of us. Thousands of homes face financial, economic, and social challenges daily in their lives. Health is also a major concern, with mental health issues highlighted more than ever. I've made it my mission to redefine the modern day warrior by realizing that the suppression of our feelings is in fact a weakness. Our contestants are as passionate about education as ever. Many people, especially children, see healthy eating as some sort of punishment. Education has made me who I am, and I'm ever eager and determined to extend and enlarge its impact. In a brutally honest account of village life in Nepal. <laughs> We have never tackled child abuse in such an open way. When it was happening, all I could do was freeze. And I just kind of lied there and just pretended that I was asleep still because I didn't want to confront the situation. I didn't know what was going on. We saw a horrifying account of this mistreatment of albino children. Se llega a pagar hasta 75 mil dólares por el cuerpo de un albino. How can we adequately pay tribute to the extraordinary work undertaken by Beauty with a Purpose and our contestants? Around the world, there are still thousands of ongoing projects from previous years. 
For those people who have placed in 2018, each and every contestant must be a winner to them. So, a difficult decision for our judges. But this year's winner is Nepal. I'm with the top five in Beauty with a Purpose, including the winner, Nepal. How are you feeling? I'm extremely grateful and thankful towards Miss Fall organization for introducing Beauty with a Purpose to us and recognizing our works. I feel a bigger sense of responsibility now to go back home and do more for the community. Good for you. Thank you so much. And you know what, ladies? You've all done such an incredible job that the judges have decided you are all advancing into the top 30. They are Mexico, Vietnam, New Zealand, and Indonesia. And well, there you have it. We have 17 qualifiers so far. And after the break, we find out the 13 pre-judging choices to finalize our top 30.